not going to be through John Bruton. See, John Bruton has nothing to offer you. But the spirit that lives in me has eternal life and life more abundantly. Yeah. And he can break addiction. My addiction was broken. The night I called upon the name of the Lord, I did not need the detox. And then past time, I've been in over 40 detox. <laughs> See, but I came to Christ. And I didn't know what I was doing when I did it. I never heard of being born again. But when I called upon the name of the Lord, I asked him to do one thing. Kill me. I wanted to die. I did not want to be alive no more because of what I had become. See, sin will make you do things you said you would never do. See, but there's a way out. And it's in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's by being born in the spirit of the living God that you're going to have to die to yourself daily and pick up your cross and follow Christ. Now pray this one time prayer and then I pat you on your butt and you go your own way. Because you're going to go right back in the mud. Mm -hmm. You're going to go to the liquor store. You're going to go to the cop man. You got that jumbo in your pocket. There's somebody sitting here right now that is holding in God's house. You wait until the power of God hits the earth. You're going to see people falling off the pews. See, because holiness has to get holy again. Yeah. We have stopped it with entertainment and yeah. with programs and with all those other things. See, I can't wait for that day. See, I believe that there's going to be a day. You see this here? That this thing is going to stop doing it. It's going to stop rocking and rolling. And the reason why I believe that, because I believe that when you step behind this, yeah. and you ain't right, because I believe that the high priest is going to become a high priest again. Yeah. And, they, and the high priest, if you know anything about a high priest, when he went in into the temple, and he went into the holy holy, they tied a rope on his leg. Because that boy wasn't right, they pulled him out. See, I believe that the one of the biggest jobs that are going to be open are going to be a preacher. Because first time somebody starts getting struck dead in pulpits, that's why most people won't preach from up here, they preach from down there. So you have to have an anointing to stand in God's place. See, when you stand in God's place, you're standing for God and not for yourself. You're walking and you're talking. Like he said, we will do it, he has done it greater. Have I experienced all of that? No, I haven't. But have I experienced seeing people healed? Yeah. See the lady come out of a wheelchair. I see the man who couldn't speak start to talk. Prayed over people on their deathbed and they're alive today. I know the power of God. See, our problem is, is that we want to go to church and God asks you, where are my disciples? <laughs> You know, I know that, you know, people say, I know the God of Elijah. Well, where are the Elijahs of God? That's my question. Where are the Isaiahs? Where's the Jeremiah's? Where's the Timothy? You know the word that was spoken over me? Somebody told me, the one, one, one of the men that prophesied over me. And he said, uh, he said, Yo. And I was sitting in the chair, at my back to him. Yeah, he was behind me. He said, John, and he grabbed me on my head. And I looked at him. And I said, God, I want to give you a Timothy. And how long have I been praying for a Timothy? Since the day he's been done. See, I know what it is to have somebody walking in one accord with you. Yeah. See, I know what it is to walk in one accord with the Lord. See, I believe that God is raising up an army. See, I know when I was in the street, I didn't hang out with no punks. And now that I'm a Christian, I ain't going to hang out with no whips. I'm not saying you got to be a bad guy and be covered in tattoos. That's not what I'm saying. But you got to be walking in the power of Jesus Christ. Yep. Yep. you got to be able to have victory over your own life. Yep. 